Thank you so much for your company this morning. Best-selling author Deborah Chalinor's latest book, From the Ashes, is a captivating story about family and friendship. It's set in the 1950s and follows the fortunes of the women of three families through one decade of incredible change. Thank you so much for joining us, Deborah. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to have you here. Uh, you have written 13 best-selling novels. This year you were made a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for Services to Literature nice. and, historic and Historical Research. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Those two seem yeah. like they're not exactly, so they're kind of, well, I guess they are sort of side by side, those two things that you've been awarded for. Yeah. The historical research, what's involved when you're researching books? A lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A don't lot. just go and read one newspaper and go, got it. No, no, it's not just one newspaper. But that's the research came out of my PhD. I have a PhD in um, New Zealand military history. And my first two books that I wrote were non fiction, and they're about the Vietnam War. And that sort of that was what got me into writing and then I moved into fiction and I just used the same methodology basically that I used for the PhD though perhaps quite not quite so rigorous that I use I use that in my fiction as well. So you must yeah. have always been drawn to history though to do your PhD in it? Well yes yes I really like history I'm a history person I went to university to study English and I was really bad at it and got D's <laughs> so I thought and it, but but English at university wasn't what I thought it was going to be right. so I was happy to change to history wow. and it turned out to be the thing for me yeah. so hang on but you so you got D's in English and yet now you are a best-selling author I am so there you go <laughs> Take that, university. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sequel to Fire. For those that don't know about Fire, where have you been? But uh, what was Fire based on? It was based on a significant event, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. the Ballantines Fire in Christchurch in 1947, but I moved it to Auckland in 1953 in a very shallow attempt to disguise it so that I wouldn't, hopefully wouldn't upset too many people. Mm. Yeah. Because when you're writing about recent events, there's always that feeling that there's somebody, that people are alive who experience them and will have a problem with it. Yes, and, and there were, and it always worries me when mm. I write about more recent events, and even 19th century events, because everybody has, well, almost everybody has descendants. And so that's, that's, that's a worry with me mm. all the time. But, yeah, I mean, especially in New Zealand as well, because we are such a young country that you've, you've probably got people that have been involved, as you say, still alive. And yeah. we're tiny. Yeah, yeah. we're and, all related. <laughs> yeah, and pe people know people, and, but it's a risk that I feel writers need to take, otherwise you wouldn't write about it either. Mm. Yeah. And this book, From the Ashes, is a follow-on. So what made you follow on from Fire? What, did, was the feedback from the first book just so good, or was there still more of a story to tell? Well, Fire was the number one bestseller, but that wasn't the reason I wrote this. I wanted to know what people were doing oh, in nice. it. OK, good. I mean, yeah, my characters don't go away, they stay in my head. And the, the women in the 50s, it was a time of great change for them, wasn't it? It was, it was. So they were supposed to be going back home to the kitchens and baking biscuits and looking after kids, but <laughs> I feel a lot of them didn't want to. Some certainly did, but a lot of them didn't want to. And I think the 50s was the beginning of the women's movement, not the 70s. Mm. But, you know, they were still, still suppressed. Um, like the, in here, you know, there are issues of backstreet abortions, um, there are issues of the Bethany maternity homes where wow. people went to have their babies when they weren't married and were told, you can go and have your baby in another town because we're not having it at home while you're having it. Um, there's those sorts of issues. There's the terrible issues of racism, even though we were supposed to have the best r race relations in the world, those sorts of things. Yeah, so, so the treatment of, of Māori is a central theme in this book, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so you, you covered all that. What, I guess in New Zealand as well, it's quite confronting when you look back at all of that. Um, it is, it is. Um, a few people I've talked to, I mean, even so far that I've just big started my tour, said, well, I didn't see any of that. Right. Well, they were obviously weren't on the end of it, that's mm. why. Now, tell mm. me a little bit about the actual story for this book, because you say the characters stay right. in your head, they don't actually, they don't actually vanish. No. So how do you continue them on? What happens in this book? Um, well, there's several, there's three families. In fact, there's more than three families. There's the, the families from the book Fire, and I've brought in some families that came from another series as well. So um, they come from 
the Children of War series. So there's some of Tamar's family there. So for readers who have read the Children of War series. Fans love that. They love know. that. Do you need to have read Fire First to get this book or is it standalone? No, it can be a standalone. Okay. But if you want to go back to people's backstories and you want to read about how Sonny and Ali and they have a mixed race, and I just so hate that term. They have a mixed race <laughs> relationship, but you know, just to it's move. changing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. changing. Mm. If you want to know their backstory, you probably should go back and read that book. So, so exciting! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, the great characters, great book. You yeah. are a fantastic awesome. person. Thank you. For Thank sharing. you very much yeah. for joining us. Thank you now, very Deborah's much. latest book, From the Ashes, is available now. She's currently in the midst of her author tour and will be in Topo tomorrow, Rotorua on Wednesday, and Tauranga on Thursday. Okay, you can check out her Facebook page for all the details.